Hello, hello Mzansi and welcome back to our channel. This is Mzansi and Filtered, your go-to channel for everything entertainment right here in Mzansi. And if you are new here, remember to like, comment and subscribe. It's absolutely free, I promise. It helps our channel grow. So please make sure you don't leave without subscribing. So let's jump straight into today's video. You saw the thumbnail and you see, did you ever wonder how Undando Duma got her role of BB in Shaga Ilembe. Comment down below, let us know, did you watch the hit episode, or should we say series, of Shaga Ilembe that captivated Mzansi, Nigeria, and other parts of Africa um, last year with their 12th um, episode series all about Ushaga and, you know, taking over the Zulu nation. Well, it was a bit of a controversial series, but we're not going to talk about that today. Let's focus on Undando Duma and how and how she tells us how she got her role of Bibi in Shaga Ilembe. And did I mention the part she talks about that they had to audition naked? So if you want to make sure you don't miss out on anything, make sure you watch everything until the end. It's really a very insightful um, share that she did. And also, did I mention auditioning while naked? I, I think I already said that. Yeah, I think that was the highlight of everything that she shared. I didn't imagine that they had to audition naked. I thought they would have found out about being naked whilst they were now doing the production. But anyway, she talks in detail about it. Let me not do a spoiler on the information she's going to share. And then also, let me know. I want to know, what would you do if you were asked to audition naked? So we want to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to comment below. Ndanda also goes into all the details and we certainly lent a thing or two and the dedication that goes into getting these roles. So comment down below. Did uh, her character, or should I say, did you love her character, Ubi be on Shaga Ilembe? Or were you team Nandi? There we go. Okay, people are interested. Okay. So, one morning, a, a producer of the show, of a show, I won't mention which show, but a producer of a show sends me a DM. Hi, Dando, I hope you're okay. Um, can I kindly have your number for a show I want you to audition for? Sharp. I said, yo, what's up? Guys, don't comment other things, because I'll start speaking about my men, and you all won't like, I get my man, my man, my man. So just, just be, just go listen for once today. Just listen. It's a really nice story. Okay. <sighs> Sharp. Don't comment silly things. One person comments silly things, I'm out. Even I'm threatening you. Okay. Sharp. Um, so this one producer sends me a DM like, yo, um hi Nando, i hope you're okay can i kindly have your number there's a show that I, i'd want i'd like to call you to discuss a show that i would like for you to audition for i said sharp i sent him my number and he calls me i think after like two three days he calls me says yo um i hope you're okay there's a show that is coming and i think you would actually fit perfectly in one of the characters i said okay cool um, I'd like to wait audition tomorrow. I said, how you go? Go home. So I said, yeah, please. I said, actually, I don't have time tomorrow. Can I do it on Thursday? I remember he called me on a Tuesday. I said, can I do it on Thursday? Um, and then he's like, okay, cool. No problem. We can do Thursday at 12 o'clock. Sharp. Um, this person will send you a script. He mentions the person that I'm going to be now communicating with further. Uh, this person's going to send you um the script the character brief and an ad sharp hi i show and i get the script i read that script i said this what zulu is this like i was just so confused i'm like whoa wait what what show is this then I checked, so I said, I said, wait, like, boom, 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 boom. So I called, I'm like, hey, well, am I auditioning from boom, 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 boom? They said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, shit, hectic. Okay, great. 
five. Yo, the whole day, I read that script like I was mad. I read that script. I said, you know what? This is actually quite cool. I will actually read the script. I read the script. They, they had two versions, a, a Zulu and an English version of it. Shop. Um, a Zulu and an English version of it. Perfect. I do the English one, I kill it. I do the uh, Zulu one, I kill it too. And I kill it at home, right? <laughs> Great. Hi, Bo. It's time for me to go audition. I am so nervous. Like, I hate auditions so much. I get there. There's like a, quite a lot of faces that I know. Um, and they say, please get to makeup. I said, because I mean, most of the time when you go for an audition, you don't um, put on makeup or costume for that matter. They're like, yep, you're going to wear makeup and put costume. And then you can go audition. I said, hmm, okay, this is quite interesting. I got there. They did my face. I remember I had braids, brown braids. If I could find this picture, I would. Okay, I don't have time. Fine. Um, I. Oh, they do my face. They also like tint my eyebrows to like look, you know, to not to not look modern as they look now. Great. Uh, they cover my tattoos. I have four tattoos, so they covered all of them to make sure that you know uh, the body looks as natural and clean. And then yeah i got in there i remember my first audition was with timmy gosi uh no actually it wasn't with timmy it was with chris it was with chris and the audition we were actually naked and we were told that you know this is one thing that i actually appreciated was the fact that they were so transparent with us in, from the beginning you know so it's not something like got into and then all of a sudden they changed things to say okay you want to walk around naked with your boobs and then just like hi bo you know they were so transparent and straightforward from the beginning so hi i'm sick Pela. can i take a break a little bit you can just comment now just for break no also, I'll just take a break and check if my man didn't send me messages. He actually did. Hey, sweetie pie. Hi, thank you. Like how you see us on screen, right? Uh, we do our scene. I had like two scenes. No, actually, I'm lying. Sorry. Track back, okay? So first, first time audition, I was fully gay. Right, it was like the English version and the Zulu version, but I auditioned for not the BB role. Funny and fun facts: the BB role was created especially for me. King, 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 king. Um. Okay. Anyways, um, I auditioned for three roles. I think I'd like to believe, if I still remember correctly, actually, I auditioned for three roles on Shaga Ilembe. But I didn't get any of them. Then they created people for me. Um, so the second time, which was a callback, which was a callback, they never but you are so silly. How are you, Mama? Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, guys, I'm getting distracted. Sorry, let me tell you the story. So the st- first callback, that's when we actually got to be in costume. Uh, they do our faces and stuff, the hair, all of that. So first audition was with, um, no, no, it wasn't Chris. It was Wise Man, actually. Wise Man movie. We did the scene. So beautiful. We did the scene with Chris. So beautiful. We did the scene with Timmy Gossi. We were both so nervous to be like auditioning with each other. Timmy Gossi is one of the greatest actors. Like, actually, everyone that I auditioned with on the day. I miss you too, Mama. Actually, little phone Do you still do makeup? Because I don't see you posting anything makeup related. Um, anyways. Um, um, yeah, I did a scene with Timmy Gossi. And it went well well yeah at the time it went well I was so nervous I was so so nervous I was just like oh my god I really hope that I actually 
take part in this on this show because it looks really interesting you know hi anyways um i finish i go home guys if i tell you that i auditioned 10 times for that role you actually won't believe me i auditioned 10 times for shaga ilembe i auditioned naked for shaga ilembe I auditioned 10 freaking times for Shaga Ilembe, okay? They would call me and call. And it was not only me because I would get there. I'd get there and there's the same people that I saw the last time. Hey, bro. I'm just like... Sorry. Let's take a break a little bit. My man is sending me a message, so I need to respond, okay? Shut up. Because I'm so tired of coming back here And you guys are not even saying anything They don't even say anything like Was it casting done by Americans? Oh no, 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 no Definitely not It was done by our own people Hey bro I wanted to cry They're like, no, it's you will get used to it This is how we actually run uh, audition. I said, I want to run again You mean I'm not I said Minangege and I was lying because I went for the ninth one and the last one, which was the tenth one. And we're still in costume, you know. It was actually it was it was such it was quite an interesting experience. It was quite and no one said, Oh, you actually you killed this one. They'll say, Okay, thank you so much. Um, you'll hear from us. Ah, I isn't supposed to ask you for any money. I don't know. I, I've never had an agent. I've always worked with myself or by myself. The whole 11 years of in the industry, I've never had a manager. I've never had an agent. So I don't know how that works. Anyways, um, I sit back. I sit back. I'm like, oh my God. Okay. They said we're going to start shooting in March. Um, different script every time. Yes. Do you understand? how hectic that is like it's different script all the time and it's different people all the time so the other time when i was auditioning it wasn't with chris wasn't with wiseman it wasn't it was with lawrence the guy that plays i I actually just i forgot his the name that he played or the name of the character that he plays on the show but the last day i auditioned with him and he was just like like, dude what's that lila that's it, dude. I'm cast up. And it's a guy I had met for the first time on set. And I remember he was auditioning for Shaga. And he looked like Henry Kelly, actually. So I was like, hi, actually, this one has the image and whatever. But honestly, I wasn't a casting director. I was also like an artist slash actress who came to audition. Um, and I remember I said, let me drop you off. Because uh, he's actually from Durban, but he had like a B&B situation happening. I dropped him off at the BNB. Oh no way. Just like I will face. It's what was I like? It's it's I you see at this point, I'm like, I'm ready to like die. And we just laughed about it. It's like I yes, in so bona pambil, so bona pambil, honestly. And then they called us again. Uh, to say, please come for the last screen test. I said, Yes, in mind you Jehovah I am you call it the way for she's about it all and oh my god my laptop is gonna die uh so she's about it all yeah we shall give it we really want the job how much to do what they tell me to do yeah and it's like um and then yeah audition and then they took like a whole month to tell us if we well to tell me I, I don't know about other people to tell me that i have gotten this particular role and i must come for fittings and stuff i was like whoa i didn't audition for this role though i said yeah i know we know but we actually think that you would be this person it would fit perfectly to be this person i said okay sharp um did the guy also get the role he did but he didn't get the role that he auditioned for she said half naked i did say half naked um i will um let me see actually 
like I can find pictures for you. Finally, you see the day they asked me to come to work. It was the day after I had just braided my hair so beautifully. They said, "Pat my baby. They just want your hair." I scream. Oh, I scream, Hashem. And then what happened? And then yeah, we started actually shooting. First day on on set, everyone had started shooting, so everyone had like created bonds with each other, connections, friendships, and whatever. I came in later, like end of like end of March. Everyone started in the beginning of March. I came end of March, you know, towards the beginning of April. And I got there. It was really actually fun. It was actually so much fun. It was very challenging, so so difficult. The language. This was like the first, and I really appreciate the fact that I get to learn about my culture and traditions. You know, uh, my language too. Things that I've never even heard. Like no one has told me about them. Even my grandmother, but I got to learn them there on set, which was quite interesting. Um, what production did for the best thing to come out of? So like old oh, tradition and changing hair. That was like, your. Can I tell you it was in winter? It was in winter. Do you understand? It was in winter and we had to be outside. Half naked. And guess what? We did not make it seem like it was winter. There was a scene where I was inside water. And it was with the little baby scooter. Firstly, I am so scared of... I can't swim in an open ocean, Okay. I won't lie, I had to read subtitles all the way. Me too, same. Me, myself too. Actually, I'm going to watch it again. Justin G. I, I'm scared of open ocean. And that day I had to like be inside the river. And shoot inside with a little baby. And my husband said, I asked him to just like hold the baby. Because I felt like I was going to drop the baby inside the water. Because I was just like, oh my god. What the actual fudge? Guys, that production was actually bomb. Okay? Excuse the pun, but it was actually one of the greatest production I've been a part of. One of two, actually. Yo, it was so hard. There was a time where I had a I had a I had, a, I had scenes today. I also had scenes the following day. And I came back home around nine, half past eight. And I showered. I went through the script until four o'clock because the call time would be half past five. And then I showered again and I went back to sit. Because I was just like, I, I can't sleep. I can't sleep because I need to get this um, this translation right. Like, It was insane, guys. It was insane. The Zulu. But we had, like, language instructors. They were so incredible. They were so patient with everyone. And understand how much of a of a big cast that is. Like, Sibanini. Sibanini. Ulea cast. And they were so patient with everyone. In Santa, we are not Zulu country in my life. I... I was just like, no, this is not a real thing. I would, I would chill with a, a lot with Sive, Sive Mabuya, who plays um, Gabi on the show. She's also one of the wives, and Sive is literally the most kindest human being you could ever find, and she's Tosa, right? And I would, I, and she would actually think that uh, her being Tosa would be. be the disadvantage and because we are Zulus would be the advantage it was the same with everyone it was so hard yo 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 hey bo let's go because I'm drunk I'll show I'm shy I'm bulali you would say those things but nope that's not how we spoke and I was just like this is actually quite insane it was so beautiful it was like a beautiful challenge you know, uh, we shot for six months and 
it is no secret Shaga Elembe was definitely one of uh, this channel's favorites, um, gathering a lot of subscribers and views. So we know you guys really, really loved that series. So it kept us busy. I think we did a live almost every Sunday at 8 p.m. the entire time. And now we wait patiently for season two to get back on our live schedule. So that's it from us. Remember to watch till the end. Comment below so we know you watched this episode. Thanks for watching Zansi. Catch you on our next upload.